Can everyone hear me? We're testing out new software. So if y'all can just let me know if I'm too loud, too quiet, where I need to be. Make sure the volume's working. Hey, Denise. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that happens. Can y'all hear me? Okay, good. There's a little bit of a delay, so sometimes I get confused by that delay. How's everybody doing today? Happy Friday. I'm excited for Friday. So ready for Friday. It has been Friday all week. This has been Monday all week. Monday is week over. Okay, I'm going to give it just a few minutes, let a few more people catch on, um, and then we will get started with talking about Silhouette. Um, even if you're not a silhouette person, you're a cricket person, whichever, I highly, highly, highly recommend silhouette. Um, its ability to design and do things is just wonderful. Um, in the description, I posted a link um, for a website that always has it, I think like 50% off of the business edition. And I'll show you some of the things business edition adds to it. Um, I feel like it was well, worth every penny. Absolutely. Um, you get five license keys. Um, and as long as like, say you get a laptop and you switch laptops. Well, before you finish off your, your laptop, you just deactivate your key and you can use it again. Um, so you're only allowed to have it on five devices at once. So as long as you deactivate it, you can use your license key forever. Um, unless you're like me who forgets to deactivate it and then your computer's gone and you have to end up buying it again after five times of doing it wrong. <laughs> you can also email it. Oh, they'll email, yeah. <laughs> Crystal's emailed them before and been like, um, I don't have that computer, please deactivate. And they give it back to her. So business edition, highly recommend. Um, I think the biggest thing, especially if you're not a silhouette user, if you're a Cricut user, is you can save your SVGs and then import them into Cricut if you're a Cricut cutter. Um, I just love, it's, I mean, the software itself is free, but to be able to save as an SVG, you have to buy that uh, license. I think it's like, what, 50 bucks? On, on that website that I that I left you um, up there. Yeah, normally it's 99, I think. So 50% off, not bad. Okay, so let's get started. Crystal, switch me over here. Am I good? Okay. Nope. No? Please wait. Please hold. Don't take them off. I'm not taking them off, sorry. Okay. Okay, I'm waiting for the delay so that I can like see. Okay, there we go. Okay, so what I was gonna talk about with everyone first, and then if you guys have any questions, um, you wanna learn something about Silhouette, we can talk about that later. Um, but real quick, I just wanted to go over how to use the Tangram file. So my last live, I did the cheap Tangram. Um, I have some that aren't finished here. So this is what we did. Uh, we applied glitter and then epoxied, and then we did a water slide on top. That water slide pattern is what we are working with today. So to start out, let's say this one. Um, as you can see, this is what's up on the screen now is the, the purple pattern. Uh, what I wanted to show you guys first is how to change the colors. So what you'll do first is this right here is your water slide labeled up top. Um, pick, whoops, 
pick one of the colors. We're going to start with the light purple. Um, the easiest thing you can do is come up here and you can say, hey, I want to change it to aqua. And as you can see, it changed all of them to aqua. Now the next one, the medium purple. I know it's selected because up here in the corner is I see the medium purple color. So this one, let's do something fun. Let's go over here to the right hand side, um, the color palette, and let's cl click on that. And if you click on this middle one, it says fill gradient. Uh, we can click on that one and I always open up my advanced options because I want to customize. So if I go down here and I say, hey, I want to create a new one. Um, let's say, that, so as you can see, it changed it already, okay? I don't want these colors. These are not my colors. So if I click on this first one, the black one, and I say, I want to make it purple. I can slide, I can change. I have this whole ability to customize how I want it to look, okay? And so from purple, I want to go, let's say pink. Uh, my pink, I want to, let's make it a little lighter there. Um, instead of yellow, let's do orange. That's kind of pretty. And then I like that color. And instead of white, let's do, let's go back to kind of a green. There it fades a little bit. So you can also change these by moving them as well. So say you wanted to see more of the yellow and the green, you can slide these. And as you slide them, you can see over here how it changes, right? So each one of these boxes is changing. Oh yeah, you see my precious baby? There she is, she's sleeping back there. Um, okay, so that shows a little bit about gradient. Um, if you don't want to customize it, they do have some autofill ones up here you can choose from. You can also change your angle. So you can see right now, like the, my stripes are going up and down. If I move this, it'll change the direction that they're going, as you can see there. So there I can see all my different colors. Okay, so last thing I want to show you when we're changing colors is this third one, the dark purple. If I want to change this to an image, I go up to File and I choose my library. Now, your library, you can import anything you want, any image you want. So say you get uh, like an image off of Google or anything like that, you can... I can show you real quick. You go file, library, import to the library. Import library means you've saved this big, massive library somewhere and you're going to bring all that stuff over. You don't want to do that. You want to import to your library. And then from there, you can pick a picture. So let's say, I here, perfect. I have a digital, um, uh, a digital paper file. And I want to do this tropical. Let's do tropical. So see all my images here? Let's pick a fun one. Here's a fun one. Kind of looks matchy-matchy to what I got now. Oh, Lord. It won't let me. Okay. Let me log in real quick. Do, do, do. Why is this taking so long? I was already signed in. Sorry, y'all. Didn't expect it to make me sign in. I've only been signed in a thousand times. You know what? Close it. Okay. Just forget it. Just forget it. Okay. So, just a reminder, make sure that you have, whoops, have it selected. Okay. I do, I have my purple, it shows me up here the purple, so I know I have that selected. And I go to File, Library, okay? And it should have imported, but I don't know if it did because of, uh, oh, yep, it did, right there. It's highlighted. So, I want this design, so if I right click, I can say, ooh, they changed this, ooh. 
I want to merge. Let's see if merge worked. Usually I double click. Eh, it didn't work. Oh, it did work. So see, it put it up at there. So this I really don't even need. Close that out. But you can see when I print this water slide. Sorry, y'all. This is the pattern that will print on my water slide. So pretty cool, right? Um, let's change this color. I don't like this color. So I just click on it. You can see it's my green. I want to make it a more fun green. I think that'd be fun. Okay. So there you have it. Let me zoom back out. Now, if I want to print this on water slide, as you, you see this big white box I have going on. Um, that is basically what I told it is my paper size. So to change your paper size, go up here to this very top one on the right. Um, I'm not using any machines or cutting mats. My media size, I had made it a custom one. Let's go back down to letter. So here's my letter. Let me, oh, I want portrait. Okay. So here's my water slide. Here's what is going to print. All right. Um, if I select all, I don't like that green anymore. If I select all and move it around, that right there is what is going to print out on my paper. So print that, water slide my cup, um, backtrack. If you are printing on glitter, you want to measure. So here's how we measure. You one second to set up. You know which one? Okay. So I always use one of like the, I think they're called seamstress um, things here. It probably needs a focus. Did it focus? Okay. So what I do is I wrap this around and I'm going to measure my cup and the reason I want to do this is because I've put epoxy on it I put glitter on it before I lay my water slide I need to make sure how big it is so this right here is my start line that right there is where it matches up so we have nine and a half so that's four eighths five eighths so nine and five eighths and so then when I go to my calculator I type my five eighths I get 0.625 okay so now back to my silhouette and I will show you how to do this okay first we do we select what we want and we go over here to this one um, with the three bars the transform panel and I choose this second one to scale it so my height is well width because it's sideways, right? So my width, which is this way, is really the height of my cup. My height of my cup is eight. That's never gonna change. What's gonna change is this one right here. That 9.45 is for a naked cup. So no glitter, no epoxy. Um, and this is where I'm going to put in my nine and five eighths, which is 9.625. And it's automatically, you can see it, it just moved. It automatically sized it. And now when I print this water slide, it's going to wrap perfectly around there. So just like this one did, um, it wraps perfectly, matches up perfectly. Bada bing, bada bing. Um, the next thing I want to show you is now that you have a water slide and a, a coat of epoxy, this one actually had two, um, this is when I will re-measure my cup, which I kind of just did. But um, we're going to measure it a little differently this time. So move that off because I no longer want my water slide. Now I want my paint lines. So bring my paint lines over. Um, and if you remember my last tutorial, this is what we're cutting our vinyl. So vinyl, we don't want to measure it like we did before. All right, Crystal, switch me over here. Switching, switching. Okay. 
Okay. When we measure this, we don't want to measure from the center to the center. We want to measure, and I'm using a pen so my fat fingers you can see. We want to measure just a smidge in, okay, so about right here. And then on this side, we want to measure to about right here. So about equal distance on each side, you want to measure, okay? So let's put this bad boy up there. So this is my start line, not the end of the tape, okay? So I'm gonna put the end of the tape probably on that line. So that gives me about probably an eighth in. And I wrap it around. And I want to end, so if I was doing this, remember if we were on five eighths before, right? We measured them up, no, I don't wanna do that. I wanna find right about here, about an eighth of an inch in. So that is nine, one eight, two eighths, three eighths, okay? So nine and three eighths is what I'm going to measure over here. So three eighths is 0.375. All right, so now go back to silhouette. And this should be grouped together already and it's not measuring that way. See how the width, oh, look, there we go. So the height, oh, I didn't show you that, but it should be preset. The height now is seven and seven eighths. Yeah, it's about right. Um, so let me think about this. So this is the width, right? Which is really the height and you can leave it about there. Um, if I remeasure, which I don't know if I can. I think it was set already. One second. Measure it right. Yeah, seven and seven eighths. Let's go down. Let's change this to 7.875. Oops. Okay. And you can see it changed the width, or yeah, the width, which is actually the height. And then we said that this was, what did we say that was? Three eighths, right? Nine and three eighths. So that's 9.375. Whoops, don't forget your decimal. Okay, and that changed it just a little bit. So now when I cut this, I'm ready to go as far as laying it perfectly onto my cup, okay? You gave yourself those one eighth differences, right? It measures perfectly. So we always have to make sure we measure because we don't know how thick our epoxy was, our glitter was, all that kind of stuff. Um, so we always, always, always have to measure each and every time. Um, if you are sublimating, oh wait, time out, back up. If you have a Cricut and you can't cut this with Silhouette, this is where you would go to File, Save As, save it to your hard drive, not your library. Your library is where we had all those images. And instead of saving it as a, as, um, a Silhouette, this is where you would be able to change it to SVG, okay? This is what you want if you're doing Cricut, okay? Um, it also has PNG, JPEG, PDF. This is the benefit to having um, the, the business edition. Is This is one of the perks and things you gain access to. So that right there, okay, is how you cut your vinyl. And I apologize if I'm missing. I am missing comments. I apologize. Where, where did all these things come from? Okay. I know, I keep missing them. I'm too busy looking and doing. Um, sorry, Mallory, I missed which function I was using. I was not paying attention when you asked that. Um, Jordan, if you're doing a tangram on like the bottom half of a 32 ounce plump, I would still be using, um, okay, well, let's think about this. I have a pump right here. I'm drinking out of it. Speaking out, I'm thirsty. 
If you wanted to use it on a plump and you only want half of it exposed, what I would recommend is you, you measure how tall a plump is. Plump is roughly 10 and a quarter. So 10.25, divide that by two. So you want it about 5.125 tall. I believe that's about a slim. Well, this might be a slim koozie. No, probably a slim koozie. So I think if you got the slim koozie file, which let me see, I can, I have it. Let me open it. I would recommend, sorry, go with me here. Where am I going? Chris on Angela, Tumblr files. The 16 plump water slide. Yes, this one. Let's wait for it to open. In theory, it would work, right? Because 16 ounces versus 32 ounces, it's half the size. Um, so what I would recommend is if you're doing this, again, size it. And we said we wanted it 5.125. Uh, so that's where I would change this right here. And I would do 5.125. Her. change it so now this would be the perfect size wrap for the bottom half of a 32 ounce plump or top half bottom half don't matter um and then same thing you this isn't the full file um but same thing as if you had your paint lines um go and measure them and, and make sure they're the right height and width all that sort of fun stuff okay if you want to water slide directly on there, you want your lines um, already done. Again, let's see, we can change our colors here. Um, let's do red. This one we can do purple. And this one, I'm just choosing random colors. Uh, yellow, whoops, can I click the yellow? Yellow. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then if you want to change this white, I'm just going to change it to black, right? So if you wanted to just print this whole thing on water slide, um, and then you really have no lines to paint or anything, um, you, you could glitter it still if you wanted to, or you could lay this directly onto a prepped cup and you would be ready to go, okay? So that's a little bit about water, uh, how to use that Tangram file in all the different ways. Um, I'm trying to make sure I didn't miss comments. Figure out how to change the colors. Okay, hopefully that helped you change the colors. Um, you just click on each one and you change them right up here. And like I showed you before, you can do like the gradient fills. You can even do patterns. Um, let me click, not the, okay, excuse me, that purple one. You could change it to, there's like pre-made patterns in here. Um, so here, you want like a wood grain, there's wood grain, okay? So you have wood, you have concrete, um, and like I said, these are just the pre-made. There's ones with gradient fills, um, either a single color or you can do like rainbows. Um, you can change it. If you had pink, you can change your advanced options. And this is where you could change, you know, you want it lighter pink or darker pink or, or whatever. See, that changed to gray. Um, and then, like I said, the importing from your library, that's how you would change to whatever image that you want. So I think that's it for the Tangro file. If anyone has questions about Silhouette in general, I'm here to answer those. Um, so answer the question away, I guess. Question away, question mm -hmm. away, and I will answer away.
the skinny cozini is the 16 plant plum. Yes, that is correct. It is versatile for both. Um, you do not have to have business edition to do what I just did. Um, that would be more for if you're transferring it over to Cricut. Um, I'm not a Cricut person. Oh, not my cup of tea. Um, but just to print and change colors, I believe all that I just did was on the regular. I think you you have access to the library and, and all that. I think I don't remember. I think it I think it just added to the bottom. Do you know if you have to have a or you upgrade to business. Yes. So if you go to Silhouette, I think it's silhouetteamerica.com, you just download um, your Silhouette. Once you have it, then you go up here to this help button and you say, um, up, you can either say upgrade or this will say activate. It's, mine's already done, so it says deactivate um, your license key. And this is where you will type in, I think it's like a 16 digit code once you purchase it. Um, if you buy it through here, through um, the, 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 the software itself, you won't get that discount. Um, that's why I recommend it, and I posted the, the link for it. It's like 50% off um, of the price of this one. So highly recommend going there to get it if you're going to get it. Um, I'm going to play around just for a little bit. Uh, just some common questions that I've had, like at TumblrCon and stuff. Um, let's talk about offset. So if I have my, my name, I'm going to come and pick a fun font. Maybe if my computer doesn't freeze. So if I have cursive, okay, see right here, that would cut two different ones. So if I right click and I weld, it now makes it one single thing and then you can tell the different boxes so the the dots on nikki are not part of it so we need to group it together now when i move it it's one piece okay and let's change it to black just so you can see the difference so if i want to offset this i go over here to the star and i choose offset and this is going to automatically make it a certain size. Uh, usually I don't like it quite so big. I'm gonna do 0.085, okay, enter, and it brought it down a little bit. So then I apply it. And as you can see, again, by these little boxes, that means they're separate items. So if I click out of that and I move this out, if I were to move this, it would not take my dots with it, okay? So move it back, and then I'm going to turn it into a group. Now, I'm going to go one step further. So let's make this pink. So as you can see, that'd be one giant pink piece. If you were cutting shirts or even just layering vinyl, this would go right on top. What I want to show you now is the double offset. Um, and before I do that, I want to show you, because this is a perfect example, see right here those tiny, tiny, tiny pieces in the Nikki or the Ks? If I um, release the compound path, then I'm able to click out of there, and I can click just those little pieces. Well, it's not working. If I move, where'd they go? Maybe it's still grouped together. Ungroup it. There we go. I'm going to click out. And now I can click just these little slivers of pieces and delete them. I'm hitting the delete button. I don't want those in there. They're annoying. Okay. Um, same honestly with this one right here. See that little tiny piece? I don't even want it. Just delete it. Okay. Just delete it. So zoom back out. I got all the little baby pieces that I don't want. So let's group it back together. Let's offset this again. And again, I'm going to make this smaller, like 0, 0.5, 5, okay? And I apply. 
And now this outlined it again. So watch how cool this, okay, so say that is purple, okay? Watch this. If I select all of it and I say, make it a compound path, look, now it's just a double outline, right? And if I bring this guy back, that's how I do that right there, okay? And if you highlight both, right up here, this, um, this centers both of them, the centers them all together, so you can make sure you're doing it right. So there's that. Um, same with subtracting objects. Um, let me think, let me think, let me think. What could I do? Um, however you would want to use this. Um, when we were at TumblrCon, I talked about making a, um, like a name tag. Okay, so first I put that piece in. Then I put like this little piece in. Okay. And I highlight it and I say make compound path. And now just to change the color so you can see, you have this and you can say hello. Whoops. And pick a fun font. Whoa, not what I wanted. I wanted this one. Okay, let's change that to black because I want to make show you guys something real quick. Not work. Make it black. There we go. Okay, so put this in here. Watch this. So if I select these two things and I go over here where I have a square and a circle, um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract. And now you have one single piece, okay? And group it together so that it's one. And then we can add this bad boy. right inside there. So a little bit of funness right there. And if I highlight all of them, I can come up here and I can center. Okay. So I just picked my center button and then that way my Nikki is centered within my name tag. So, any other silhouette questions? I'm trying to think of the basics. Um, if you want to warp. So, let's throw this off to the side. I think I gave it to you. Oh, okay. Um, let's merge. Oops. And go back to my digital papers. And let's pick something that we're going to notice, a change. Let's try Buffalo Pod. Um, what these look like? Oh, wow. Why did it say moose? Let's go to the moose. I don't know why this is moose, but okay. So bring this image in here. And I'll show you how to wrap. So really big image, right? I'm going to click on it so that it's highlighted. And you can see over here that I have it selected. And then I'm going to go down here to the warp panel, okay? Once I do that, there's three options up top and I want the conical wrap. So right here's where we would input uh, first, you have to say is warp the images, the selected shapes. And as you can see, let me zoom out a little bit so you can see. It changed the shape, right? Oh, why did it go out too much? Okay, so here 
here's where I would say, okay, the diameter of my cup, and I'm just making this up. Say you wanted to do a true 22. I don't have one to measure. Let's say the top of it is 4.2. Again, I'm guessing, y'all. The bottom diameter, so side to side on the, the widest part, let's say that's 3.7. Okay, and the height of the cup is only, I think, 8, maybe. There you have it, okay? If you wanted, um, I can show you text too. Say we have text. Nikki, Nikki, and since it's buffalo plaid, let's do white so that you'll see it on there. Okay. If I just put this on there, good and great. But if I want to wrap this, I can wrap, right? And you can see it gave it that little bit of arch and I would make it, let me see if I remember what I put before. Okay, now here's where I can change how big it is, and here's how I can change how far up or down. Um, obviously, like if you get to the top, it's a little bit wider, the bottom's a little bit closer, it changes how much it is curved, okay? So that right there, and you can apply it, and then it becomes like its own separate little thing. Sorry, out of view. Okay, you can also, let me do this. Where did this guy go? Click on him. There he is. You can also, I don't know where I have it put. Oh, there he is. It's running a little slow because I got too many things running on here. There we go. Okay, if you have the shape of the wrap, okay, let's put it back to white. Um, actually, put my graph. There we go. So if I have my shape, move all this out of the way. Um, so, like, for instance, on the Steel Magnolia free download section, there is um, the wrap for a True 22. If you want to bring an image in, just like we did on the Tangram, you select the image and then go up to File, uh, Library, and this is where you can open up your image. I just double-click mine, and then when I go back, Ooh, it's running super slow. It opened a new one. You can see up here it opened the new one. So if I go back to my original, why didn't it work? Mail, merge, nope, 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 library. Library, library. Let's try to click it, and then let's merge it. And when we go back, it wants to be a pain to not do it. I think it's because I don't have the file open. I think it's like its own separate image right now. So if you want it, you can put it in there, make it bigger. Hold on, let's send send my image to the back. So you can see my, my outline here. Okay. So then I can highlight it. And just like I did before, I can open the modify panel. And I always get these backwards. So I think it's Crop, yeah. Crop or subtract. I always have to play with them and figure out which one's which. But as you can see, again, it wrapped it and cut it into the shape that I want. And then bring this. Oops. 
bring it to the front. Bring it to the front. And then, hello, my name is Nikki. Okay. Okay, any last minute questions um, that I can answer for anyone? Betty's over here snoring. Can you hear her snoring? She's snoring hard. It has a rough life being a bulldog. <laughs> so loud. All right, if there is no more questions, I'm going to get off here. And I will save this, um, and it'll be available for replay. Um, and then next week, we have a bunch of fun lives from... Uh, ooh, we have a bunch of good lives next week. Um, so I don't know if I will be back next week for another cup. Um, but we will work on something, and we will schedule another time for making cups. So thanks, guys, for tuning in, watching Silhouette. Oh, there's a question. Hold on. I need to change my computer. Hold on. How do I do that with Silhouette? Wait, okay. Hold on. Time up. It went away. I need to change my computer from a laptop to an actual PC. How do I do that with a Silhouette program? I'm not sure I understand. Like, you need to put your program on a new computer. Um, you're allowed five license keys when you purchase it. Um, what I like to do is I save everything to a OneDrive. That way all of my files I can open on any computer I own. Um, I have, um, like I can share those OneDrive files, like you saw on here that I have one that's called Nikki, Angela, and Crystal. Um, all three of us, you know, we make files and then share them with each other. Um, so that way I never lose anything. Nothing's ever on one single computer and I always have them on all of them. Um, and if you're talking about the software itself, like I said, you just download it again, um, the basic version. And then when you go up here to the help button, you'll be able to put in your license key. Um, you can find your license key. So say you bought, I know someone commented this, you bought it two years ago and you don't have your key anymore. If you at least remember your login when you purchased it, um, they'll tell you on the Silhouette website. Um, you log in and under your account, it'll say license keys and it'll list all of your license keys on there. Um, I can't log in because then you see my license key. <laughs> so, um, not silhouette related. Are you having classes at your shop? Um, we have postponed classes at the shop. Um, we didn't have enough sign up for this last one, so we did cancel for this Saturday. Oh, I never removed that from the website. Probably need to do that. Um, but we do have TumblrCon coming up. I believe there may be one spot left in May. And I think we have two or three spots left in June. Other than that, it is sold out. Um, so if you're interested in the whole four-day weekend experience, um, there are still a couple spots left. Um, 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 um. What else? What else? What else? Any last-minute questions? Sorry, I see a delay, so it takes me, I'm just giving it a second to catch up what I say to what I see. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. All right, guys. Well, I hope you have a wonderful Friday and an even better weekend. Um, thanks for tuning in. And we'll see you guys next time. Have a good weekend.